Hey everyone, it's uh, Lauren from Modern Valley. I've got uh, Peter, Dr. Diesel here this month with me. Good morning, everyone. And this is a new episode of What's New This Month at Otter Valley Railroad for August 2022. Look at all these colors i got to work with, Peter. Oh, jeez, Lauren. What, what, why have we got all, that, all those colors? That's a huge color chart. Well, are we redecorating? We are not redecorating my house, and we okay. certainly are not redecorating Princess Isabel's room. Mind uh, you, if we were, we no, would be in the right hot, there, right, there, not, right in the pink. Yeah, hot. Pink. This is an RAL color guide, and you probably ask, why do I have it? Why do you have that? Well, Mark? tomorrow I'm taking one of my first vacations in a while. Surprisingly, everyone knows I don't take vacation around here. Um, I am going to see the second biggest transfer site of waste. In North America tomorrow. And you're picking just the day and just the temperature to do it. The trash is going to smell so good oh, tomorrow, Peter. boy, it'll be fruity. The reason why I had the color code is, um, everyone knows that uh, my partner on the freight car project, our first freight car in the private label, uh, Andrew Dunst, yes. he has just almost completed up the artwork. Now I'm going to go out in the field and make sure the colors we chose off the RAL match the prototype. Right. And the location I'm going to tomorrow has about 600 cars in their compound. So I'm able to get final in-field samples to yeah. make sure we're matching color code. At the same time, I'm going to get lots of prototype photos tomorrow, mm -hmm. maybe some aerial photos, so some upcoming modelers. A lot of guys this week, Peter, after we put our teaser photos of the ends out, both on our newsletter, on our Facebook, and then shared it through some groups, right. we're quite impressed. Yes. Uh, I can give some more update on the car. We have completed the third phase of tooling. We have one more revision, and I'm hoping that I'll be showing off the first uh, factory sample at our pop-up event September 10th. Oh, that was so good. this will be our second annual manufacturer showcase event. Right. So for the day, we're going to have Intermountain, mm -hmm. Sylvan, Rapido, yep. Aurora, Mini Prince, and I have three more that are surprised for the day of the event. Oh. And they're very large North American ones. Oh, good. So definitely come and see us on September 10th at OVR. Oh, really? For yeah. our second annual manufactured pop-up event. I know last year you missed it because you were uh, becoming Mr. Robotic. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. Good old robot. So, yeah. So that's mm. uh, that's the, the big news for the month. But yeah. as you see, we got tons of uh, new arrivals. So well, let's get going. Let's, let's, let's dig into it first. All right. And... Uh, Behind the camera, of course, is our our uh, Daytona Steve, and he's going to show you these beautiful excavators. They're hydraulic excavators, and they are HO scale, and they are really nicely made. Um, the one that I have in my hands has uh, no lettering on it, um, but that would allow you to create custom lettering uh, of your own. and. Uh, we have them in various uh, assorted colors. Uh, and they're really a good price point on these, yeah. Peter. Now, people are going to yeah. say, why are they unlettered? A lot of it comes down to if it's licensed or lettered, then you pay a higher price. Yeah. Yeah, so, you pay another 30 bucks probably. With the orange ones, yeah. doesn't this look a lot to you like a Hyundai? Yes. And yeah. with that one, doesn't that one look a lot like uh, a Volvo style? Yeah, that, that reminds me of Volvo. Yeah. My cousins in Sweden would love this. Again, these are mid twenties, so very yeah. good value yeah. for construction equipment. Very, oh, that's, very yeah. well wet weighted yeah. and, and uh, uh, units. Yeah, they're nice. To, yeah, they've got good weight. And if you're if you're into hop open open top hopper cars and quarries, then you got to have something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yep. Well, yeah. Let, let's continue over there. All right. I know we featured this one last month, the, the Via Rail People oh, Moving People yeah. book. And boy, the, if you need a paperweight, here it is, folks. This is, it's not only colorful and interesting, beautiful photographs, it's a great paperweight, or if you have a break-in in the middle of the night, it's, it's a great it's, weapon. It's a beautiful book, and I'll yeah. tell you why. It covers the original history of Via yeah. up until now, and this was past week, Peter, Via Rail had their second set yeah. delivered from Siemens via um, the Union Pacific and then through the CN. Now, did you go out this week and see it, Peter, or did you I, miss it? I saw it when it came to the first set, when they, and I have beautiful photographs of that at the Stratford station. This morning, the second set's supposed to be in Stratford. Was, was testing morning. on the Guelph, yeah. Guelph subdivision? On cool. the Guelph sub. Yep. Yeah. So that is the Siemens. This yeah. book actually covers right up to it. 
This has actually been our best-selling hardcover book we've ever had in history. Is that right? Yeah, well, I but think... But Via has a rich history. It really does. Yeah. And yeah. it's well-loved across Canada and North America and the world. Yeah. Um, again, great book, great for summer reading. Lots of the pictures have never been seen before. They were part of the Via Historical Society and the right. Via Go Print. Um, What's in your hand, Peter? Well, I was thinking of my friend uh, Joe up near Fenland Falls who builds beautiful models. He's not a model railroader, but I have been reminding him that we have incredible paints here for all modelers, not just model railroaders. And we have a lot of military paints. Uh, we have bottled and we have spray. And this uh, beautiful set here uh, is called the uh, uh, True, Col uh, True Color Paint. Um, and it's uh, uh, supposed to be highly saturated color. And uh, you, there are this, this example you can see gives you some really nice basic colors from light gray, charcoal, uh, gray, uh, uh, basic black, and then these two uh, earthen tones, one of which is very close to being uh, a blood red. Uh, anyway, they're really nice uh, uh, paint sets, and uh, if you're just starting out uh, modeling, and if it, model railroading or modeling in, in uh, uh, things like aircraft tanks, uh, uh, military scenes, you, you know, this is something you'd really like to have check, check out at, at Otter Valley, so I highly recommend them. Now back to uh, 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 rolling stock, I have to show you the um, beautiful arrowhead rail gone gondolas and inside the detail is exquisite I don't know if you can really see it but that's the uh, coil rack yeah that's the coil rack um, and oh I'll tell you these are really amazing I, I it's funny I thought oh well the outside and the detail and the uh, uh, the, the see-through bracing yeah the subframe that's great but the see-through bracing here and then um, it has the patch colors on the yeah, wheels. Yeah, that's right. Um, it, this is just an amazing car. It really is. And they come in these these lovely green green boxes right here. The uh, the rail gone cars had quite a history. Um, so um, Arrowhead's owner Blaine Hadfield's done quite an amount of extensive work on the, uh, the rail gone. This is their second run, but these ones have the uh, the patch outs. Yeah. So mm -hmm. these are still two numbers that are still in active service. Um, Arrowhead sold out in a day. Um, we have a handful left. They have another car coming out, the uh, 5600 or 5650 covered hopper. Okay. And their first one is the Chicago Northwestern um, Yellow. Oh, or as yeah, they referred yeah. to it as the um, mustard seed yellow. <laughs> yeah. So we have those coming. That'll be the next one. Mm -hmm. um, Blaine has a lot more cool stuff coming. Um, he's. He's really a, a kind of an interesting guy in the industry, um, really down-to-earth guy. Um, he originally has come from Exact Rail and has went on his own. Mm -hmm. um, so, so very cool. De um, dedicated to really fine-scale uh, model trains. That's finite cool. prototype with mm -hmm. unbearable, break breathtaking details, um, meticulous on the number of parts, mm -hmm. and meticulous on the accuracy and, and the authenticity of the, of the models. Yeah. Um, I'm going to let you leave the next one because I know you're just staring at them. Oh, <laughs> you mean the Bowser RS? So, we got the, our third and third run. Now, there is a fourth batch still to come. This oh. is from Lee English from Bowser. And this is the RS3. So, the first one in Peter's hand is the Norfolk and Western in the dark blue. And I believe they refer to this as the Hamburg. Scheme. Yeah, uh, that I yes, that's right. I, yeah, I think so. We correct. have that in, in the yeah. Norfolk and Western, and my favorite. We have the Grand Trunk and Western. Now you're going to ask, do you have the Central Vermonts? We are sold out of the Central Vermonts. We sold out in one day. Oh, Peter got one. <laughs> he got one on the day it arrived. Yeah. So good for Peter. Uh, we do have the Grand Trunk. Yeah. Um, and then the other one that I kind of got a little bit of favor. A lot of guys don't model the Milwaukee Road, but oh, I love it's a the beautiful Milwaukee. paint scheme. Yeah, it um, is. Again, it, yeah. was a paint, it was a railroad that subsequently failed, went into bankruptcy, yeah. and was saved by Sioux. Um, in later years, a lot of their equipment would show up as bandits, which were yeah. ex-Milwaukee with the Sioux patched out. Yeah. And I had shot a few in the area. Yeah, I um, saw one or two myself, yeah. Mm -hmm. The fourth run on the RS3's, Peter, it's going to have nickel plate. It's going to have... I love nickel plate. Um, 
family lines. Mm -hmm. It's going to have Green Bay and Western. Oh, that's a good one. And yeah. I believe Louisville and Nashville. Okay. So we'll have that in our yeah. September load. Um, and I wonder if some of the numbers with the Louis, Louisville and Nashville would be the old, uh, um, oh, Rutland. Yeah, because I think their, their RS3s, most of them went to Rutland. They went to came from Rutland. Yeah, the Rutland oh. had them, and uh, the, the whole block of them went south when uh, uh, Centra, um, Rutland uh, quit and uh, declared, uh, you know, they just shut the railroad down, declared wow. bankruptcy. That was all over a union issue. And uh, out of that came the Vermont Railway. But the RS3s all ended up, and I'm sure it was the Louisville and Nashville, and I, I think they ended up doing switcher duty. RS, with some of the I RS. thought the Vermont had a few RS3s too. In the green, yeah, they did. Yeah, that's right, green and yellow. With yeah. the uh, the pine the pine tree paint scheme. Yeah. 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 Uh, a couple other items that you know have been a standard stocking item. The first one is the Woodland Scenic Static King. Mm -hmm. One of the best Static Kings we've ever sold. Now, obviously, we sell the Notch, and obviously, we sell the Pico one, but... Yeah, this is a beauty. This they, they, really is, it, yeah. it, it Honestly, part of my language, is built like a shit ton house. It's hard, it's hard to break. The best thing with that one is, is buying the AC outlet. It'll even work even better. So, buy the AC outlet instead of using battery, but the Woodland Scenic King has been great. And I, and I can't speak enough about this system. The NCE power cab. Yeah, um, we've all got them. It's staff here. It, it it's the standard yeah. system. It is yeah. our go-to throttle here at the shop. Oh, absolutely. Um, we have we've had them in stock through the entire pandemic. We're one of the only yeah. retailers, and we still have inventory. So yeah, um, definitely if you're starting a new layout. Comes in a handy you, box. It uh, uh, you just open it up, and the instructions are very simple. I just see we got the throttle here in our, yeah. on our layout right now. Let's turn on the big boy while you have it in your hand. All right, there, let's uh, let's go to the big boy. Listen to that. Now, if you're interested in uh, that locomotive as something that you want as a collectible, that's wonderful. If you're going to run it like most people, you need curve uh, curvature that I would say would be an absolute minimum of 24 inches uh, to really enjoy the locomotive. Uh, 22 is really pushing it. 18, no way. Yeah. Let's hear some of the sounds, Peter. Yeah. The bell is fantastic. Classic American whistle. Now the smoke unit was working. I think we burned <laughs> off all the all the smoke. So the smoke is refillable. Yeah. It's a small tube. It's about three dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. This is the uh, forty fourteen in the high gloss finish for the excursion version, which is what currently done. As you can also see, it has end lit markers oh, and it has the inside cab vestibule lit with yeah, the isn't that, uh, engineering that's, conductor. That's really neat. Yeah, it's one of the like it the, the classic. Well, the though. classic thing when I grew up when a kid was everybody had a big boy. Yeah. Well, everyone has a big boy because yeah. it's one of the most iconic steamers. Oh, absolutely. In yeah. History. Yeah, it's, it's it's probably the most iconic steamer in North America. Right. Obviously, in Canada, our most iconic steamer probably the Empress. I would say the Empress. Yes. Yeah. And then follow up with probably uh, the, the the Royal Blue Hudson mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for King George. Yeah, and uh, then certainly the sixty one and sixty two hundred. The bolt nose Betty's and the and the Northern. yeah the sixty sixty yeah. yeah yeah those are the icons yeah yeah yeah. yeah. So that yeah that's new for this month from yeah. Broadway that's the big steamer yeah. Now there's some cars behind it. The oh, first yeah. one is the Atherton Genesis F eighty nine J flat car. And that is in the brown trailer train uh, version, and that comes with the uh, the two two hitches, and comes with the end uh, roll flaps. And then the two cars behind it uh, are from our friends at Intermountain Railway in Colorado. Uh, first one is the Ann Arbor 40 foot PS1 box car. I love it. And the one behind it, everyone loves it in this area. Yeah. Port, Port Huron. Huron and Detroit. Yeah. PH and D. Are also yeah. known as the St. Clair Blue Water Route. Yeah. PH&D was a very common boxcar in this region yeah. because they did a lot of traffic between uh, Sarnia, St. Clair, mm -hmm. Port Huron, to Buffalo. Yes. Yeah. And they would be coming through a lot on the Queso mm -hmm. and on Interchange. So very cool boxcar. Yeah. Um, and that's a PS1 40-footer from yeah. Inner Mountain. Beautiful Again, cars. Lovely um, detail. 
six numbers available, both in the Ann Arbor and the PH and D. Mm -hmm. uh, moving closer to the middle now, um, this, a lot of people don't know this, Peter, mm -hmm. the queso could not handle by levels loaded because of the Windsor Tunnel. Mm -hmm. well, but they could handle by levels going back westbound, uh -huh. empty. Empty. So, right here is the Ather and Genesis bi-level auto carriers. So the first paint scheme is the brown trailer train that uh, Peter has in hand. And then the other one he has in hand well, is, is the New York, New York Central, Central I have in hand, yeah. Very common on BM2, mm -hmm. which was uh, Boston, New York, return empty to Detroit. Yeah. So they would run empty uh, bi-levels on the queso back through Detroit, and then the foals would go on the river route. And the no. other one you have in your hand there yeah, is, look at this. This is, is southern. The southern with the half panel sides. Now these cars would have been common, Peter, in later years handling uh, transfer traffic on both the Norfolk and Western mm -hmm. and Norfolk and Southern coming into St. Thomas. Right, right, right. So that's the bi-level version. Yeah. So those are new this month. I like that's, this. That's one. part of the Ather and Genesis. Yeah. That's the CB and Q one you have yeah. in your hand. Yeah, and this, this is by far my favorite. Yeah. I love the jade green. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in addition, we've also, uh, in front of there, we have the Mini Prince figures, which uh, have been yeah. popular ever since we brought them out. They go with the Rapido vehicles, so definitely check those out on our website. Um, a couple of new locomotives also right here. from uh, Ather and Raider Roll line. These have the Economy Sound Value decoders, Peter. Mm -hmm. The first one is the Furex. Yeah. It's dead. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so we're, our second half, we're going to focus on uh, end scale, Peter. Okay. You've got the new micro trains, yeah. uh, Ukrainian cars that come in last okay. month um, in support of Ukrainian uh, um, situation. Yeah, it says glory to Ukraine on the side with the beautiful Ukrainian colors. The blue for the sky, of course, and the yellow for the wheat. Yeah, that's a, that's a neat car. Well with buying as a collector item. Okay, you grab one. We have more. the uh, Montana Rail Link. Uh, 35th anniversary car. Montana is really is now a fallen flag. So we have those. That's end scale for micro trains. Um, we also have some new coal cars for micro trains in Norfolk and Western. What you got there, Peter? I have the weathered X L and N box car, um, and it's now listed for the uh, seaboard. Um, and uh, it's patched out. It's beautifully weathered. Uh, lots of fun for that one. Also the uh, N-Scale CSX uh, X chassis cool hopper yeah, here. Yeah, the weathering on that. With That's the load. Great. Yeah. yeah, and then there's... The TTX uh, rail box N-Scale micro trains. That those have come in. And I have the Baltimore and Ohio um, uh, plug door box uh, here in the capital scheme. The Burlington Northern Santa Fe uh, Hopper, predominantly in grain service, mm -hmm. micro trains as well. And we have the big box TTX uh, box car here. That's a real beauty. And uh, this one, again, by micro trains. Really good quality there, folks. So shifting gears up to HO. Um, just come in last month is the Bombardier cab coaches. The cabs and go. The cab car and go. We also have it in the go. There's four sets, two sets with coach and cab, two sets with three coaches. We also have the Trinity Rail Express, or as I like to call it, the Lone Star. Lone Star. And we also have the West Coast Express for Vancouver. We have the Metrolink, and we also have AMTs in the gray. Uh, Rapido is sold out. We do have some sets left, so definitely check that out. We also still have a good number of F-59s there you see on our, on our ready track. So yeah. Oh, I missed one end yeah, scale, Peter. Yeah, this, this I really like here, the uh, uh, bulkhead flat cars, and they come weathered in sets of three. This is Texas, Texas, Oklahoma, and Eastern. Oklahoma. Oh, sorry. All right, there we are. Pipe down, you sooner. Okay. Um, ship, keeping back to your HO, uh, barrel cars again, we've yeah. highlighted them, but they've been really popular. Oh, they have been, yeah. Um, Even... People like me who model the oh, early sixties. The... CN. We have the Rock. Now, uh, with the barrel cars, we also have um, right, what? the Tangent forty-seven fifties in the Rock, Chicago Northwestern, the Sioux Line, Illinois Central, 
SNL Family Lines, and then the Straight Rock. So they've come in for the month. So definitely check them out. They are really yep. nice. They have etched metal. The, the, the detail is exquisite. The painting is clear and crisp. Sioux Line, you got to get it, guys. And Illinois Central, too. Bree CN. They are fantastic. More Tamiya paints in last month, too, guys. Both more surface primers and cans, as well as washables in the bottles. So definitely check that out. Um, we have the nice new train man. Uh, what, what, how are these designated? These two bays. Two bay hopper cars. Yep. And this one is in the Chessie Yellow with the Kitten. And the Kitten is always very popular. And for, for the, you know, the price point, these are nicely detailed, eh? And they have a nice weight to them, too. Um, yeah. Some new Walters kits. Oh, so yeah. the first one is the Garage Detail Kit. That's part oh, of the Seamaster. That's fantastic. If you need parts for it, you can use them out of this. Yeah. New buildings also this month from Walters uh, Cornerstone, Merchants Row 6. Oh, that's great. Oh, look, that this is a neat one. The bulk the material storage transfer yeah. building. Um, a favorite because it's hot and it's hot today, DQ. Peter. <laughs> uh, DQ Grill and Chill. Yeah. Um, and then we got some new vehicles. Oh, these cabs. The, uh, the cab overs and then the yeah. uh, Peters. Yeah. They're from Burkina. Yeah. And then the last thing, because everybody knows I'm a real bounty hunter, <laughs> uh, we also carry a little bit of Star Wars every so often, and we have. The Empire Strikes Back, dun, Boba dun, Fett, dun, dun. Slave 4. Dun, 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 dun. So that is the Boba Fett uh, Slave 4. Dun, 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 um, again, lots of new stuff this month. One thing, remember everybody, uh, September 10th, manufactured pop-up event at Otter Valley. Uh, definitely, we'd love to have you from 10 to 5. Uh, also, it's another year, Peter, of mm -hmm. Lionel Strange's One More Year campaign All for right, Princess yeah. Margaret. Yeah. So definitely check that out. Yeah. Um, I see you're wearing your mother's life shirt. Yeah. I'm wearing mine. And there's uh, a cab car at the, the, the end of the... That, isn't that neat? That, the detail there just, just on this car is fantastic. My God. I love the multiple chime. One, two, three, four, five chime uh, horns on them. The bells at the top. Air conditioning. The whole rang dang do. And something, if you're following us on our Facebook or our Facebook group page, Look for a post this week as I finish the final uh, infield research, and then I'm going to start the next research on the next two freight cars, Peter. Oh, but you're not yeah. telling what those are. No, I got to yeah. keep my cards close to the bed. Oh, 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 nice segue. Anyways, that is uh, Lauren from Modern Valley. And Peter, Dr. Dr. Diesel. Diesel. And Steve Gergich, alias Daytona Steve, behind the camera. And, uh... Thanks for your support this month, and uh, definitely come and see us. We're open Monday to Saturday. Uh, Walk-in, shipping Monday to Friday. And we hope to see everybody on September 10th for the Manufacturer's Pop-Up event. Remember to keep hydrated in this hot weather, and don't leave your dog in the car ever during weather like this. See you soon. And when you think of trash, think of OBR model trains for the big hopper. He's the trash man. Take care, guys.